in and why are they investing in it. I think that's the main thing. I want people to understand um, what their, how their investments work together and why they work together. And that's a big thing for me. And uh, I keep it really simple so they understand it. So if there's any questions down the road, they can get right back to me and I can help them and say, remember we spoke about this and re-educate them as we go forward. Um, an example of this is, is that a service we provide is what we call portfolio analysis. And it's based on each client's objective. So all clients have different objectives. But it's one of the things that I'll tell you is, is that it's a place where I start with a client because it helps educate them, show them a little bit. I find out where they are as far as their understanding and then help them understand as far as you know, the basics of investing. And this is, you can't see it, I didn't have time to put it on a slide, but basically what we do is, is that we really focus in on um, the investment pyramid. And this is just a basic investment pyramid. And what we do is, is, that, um, is that we start with this and we start from the bottom of the pyramid. And I show this, it's a, I show it with a client, I show them a picture of where they are and where they should be. Um, but one of the things is just really quickly with the pyramid, I obviously want to start with the bottom and I make sure that all my clients have a will first and if they don't, they go to Beth, that they have life insurance, if not, they go to Mitch. Um, but also as we move up the pyramid is that they've got a cash cushion, we talk about that. You shouldn't be investing if you don't have a cushion first, that's the most important thing. We talk about income investments. It's the next step up the pyramid. Those are bonds, fixed in, things that pay you income. That should be a part of a, someone's portfolio. And uh, it provides stability to a portfolio, but, but also income, cash flow to a portfolio. Very important, and it, for each client, different percentages. One of the main things is the center of the pyramid, and that's the growth and income segment. That's the anchor of the portfolio, in my opinion. Those are stocks that pay dividends. Not only do they pay dividends, but they increase dividends. And their stocks, not only in the U.S., but throughout the world. So what I try to make sure is, is that they have quality. Those are the quality names right now. This market, it's really what I would call a junk rally so far this year, meaning the, the stuff that got beat down the most, came back the most, the smaller stocks. But what we think going forward, you're going to go back to the higher quality stuff that pays good dividends. And that's where the market's going to go. The last, you know, uh, as we move up, is growth. Those are stocks that don't pay as much in dividends. They, don't, they take their, their money and actually open up new businesses like Google. So you want some of those for inflation hedge. You want to have some of those in your portfolio. By the way, I know I'm almost done, but inflation seems to be the big topic now. Inflation is coming. Inflation. We don't feel that inflation is a problem here. We think that we're, we're still worried about deflation, to be honest with you. And then as inflation will start, but it's going to be gradual. We don't think where it's a 70s type of thing. And then aggressive are investments on the top. Most of my retired, pre-retired clients, we don't even get up into that area. But for younger clients, that's something we look at. One more thing, and I just think it's important to everyone, is in this is the international component. It is very important if you have any investments that you have representation in the international markets nowadays. It is so important, not only because we talked about the declining dollar, which that has been a problem already. We spoke about that yesterday. And we don't think that's going to, the dollar is going to go into a major fall, by the way, because once they start raising rates, the dollar will start to strengthen a little bit. But having international in your portfolio, we recommend 20% at least that everyone should have outside the U.S. And you know one of the things, I'm going to finish up, Jeff, is that if you look at the international markets, 10, 15 years ago, the market capitalization where you can invest, it used to be 70% U.S., the companies you can invest in, and it was 30% outside the U.S. Now, today, the market cap, where your opportunities are, are 65 outside the U.S. and 35 inside. So if you believe you've got to have international investments in your portfolio, it's very, very important. Um, I talked about two things. What makes us different at Edward Jones, and we are a little bit different, and I think that's cool, and I, I, I really think that's neat. And then also, one of the, the services we provide um, is the portfolio analysis. And, um, and that's it.